Take you back to March 24th, Circuit of the Americas down in Austin, Texas. Colton heard it just days before his 19th birthday, getting his first career IndyCar win. The youngest in series history and the first one for one of IndyCar's newest teams. Welcome back to this Trackside 6 special live here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. George Michael Steinbrenner the fourth has known Colton for years. They hung out together in Europe and one day dreamed of perhaps being in IndyCar. Well, now they both are. And for George, the future is now. There are many paths to the IndyCar series, and while many have dreamed of one day being a driver, George Michael Steinbrenner IV has always wanted to walk through the pits as an owner. But before he got here, it actually started here in Global Rallycross. George is working with Colton Herta's father's team. A couple of years ago, did you have any idea that your career path would be where it is today? I always had a dream of being an IndyCar owner or being in some sort of role in the IndyCar series. Um, it came a lot sooner than expected. I was working in, in Rallycross for Brian Herter Rally Sport and Colton decided to come back to America and we, we sort of just looked at each other saying we got the same dream, why don't we chase it together? And the chase is on. Colton is the 19-year-old phenom. George is the 22-year-old who's far from finished when it comes to his goals. You look around the paddock area, Rogers, not young. Chips, not exactly young. But now you come along at 22 years old. You are literally the next generation. Yeah, yeah. Um, being so young, it's uh, it's an interesting experience. I think I'd bring in an entirely different uh, perspective. Sure. I was lucky with Colton to, to have a friend of, of several years to sort of learn the uh, driver-owner relationship and that dynamic. He comes about his relationships in professional sports quite honestly. His grandfather is George Steinbrenner, the legendary owner of the New York Yankees. And his dad, Hank, now the co-chairman of the team and a former team owner in the NHRA. How much of what they did has helped you along to this point? What they've done is, is really um, set the example. Um, just sort of the, the, the amounts of success that my grandfather had. Yeah, there's not a lot of losing in the family. Here, no, so. no. Yeah. And it prepped me for IndyCar because there's a lot of losing in IndyCar. Is trying to get his first NTT IndyCar Series victory. Out of 10 teams, only one can win any given weekend, although for George, you never know it. Colton Herdick is going to go to victory lane. It took exactly two races to win their first race this season. Colton, the youngest ever driver to celebrate in victory lane, with George in the middle of it all. The last thing you want to do is make losing okay. Exactly. That's the very last thing you want to do. Yeah. It's about the checkered flag, it's about victory lane, it's about the trophies, it's about the milk, it's about the wreath, it's about kissing the bricks. So for us, um, not taking losing well, uh, not accepting just okay, I think will be the greatest thing that I could have had passed on to me from, from the generations before. So during practices, the owners listen closely to Colton's radio communications. George standing next to co-owner Mike Harding and strategist Brian Barnhart. Three, two, one, on the park. And the countdown is on for many more wins in seasons to come. All I really want is to just have a car out there, especially by 10 years from now, that, that we can go into St. Peter, whatever race Indeed, is wherever. first in 10 years from now and, and think we have a shot at a championship. You're in it for the long haul. I'm. I'm looking to be in it for the long haul, yeah. This isn't a one and done. I'm, I'm looking to be in this paddock for, for as long as I can. George has other IndyCar connections. His cousin is Tony Renna, who sadly died in a testing accident here at the Speedway some 15 years ago. And his uncle is Chris Simmons, a longtime engineer for Scott Dixon. There is no doubt that George feels right at home in IndyCar.